think you guys all know where I'm at. Down here in Atlanta, kicking it off with a bunch of guys doing some dough management, getting into it. Say hello to all the famous people. What's up, man? How's everybody going? Going? How's everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot going on right now. A lot of people, but we're about to head out for the first afternoon dough management mission. All right, guys, well, we're in the truck heading to our first spot, first afternoon of our giant dough mission. If you guys were part of the channel last year, you remember watching us, we absolutely shot a ton of does and we um, our, our whole mission, I guess, and Lee's whole mission, because Lee's the guy that put all this together and, and made this even a thing, is some of these suburban areas are so overrun with does that it's like borderline unhealthy for the deer herd it's itself. Not, no, it's not borderline. It's straight up unhealthy. Unhealthy. It's bad. So Lee has a bunch of these spots where there's just so many does and so, so many deer in general. Um, and we scheduled out this weekend it's not even a weekend it's just a couple days where we're just trying to help out thin the herd and then also to give back on that is we're donating all of this meat to um connections that you guys have made mm -hmm. to help out atlanta inner city people in need um so all of the does all of the meat all of the deer that are done for management pur purposes are also going to be donated so. all right night number one back to our old stomping grounds we hunted at this spot last year still so overran with does um but we got the bow loaded up with a bunch of arrows and actually i got a bunch of different broadheads that i'm hoping uh shoot a couple different does with and see what's going on my bow is on the ground i gotta get set up we're finally up in the tree we had action right away we had that one doe come in um and I just wanted to get all set up and she saw me and she spooked off. I have a feeling it's not gonna be very long um, before we start seeing more deer. Another thing about this spot in particular is he has some history with it. And years ago, like 10, 15 years ago, deer densities were a lot lower and there actually was like a lot of big bucks around. And the past five or so plus years, those numbers just keep going down of quality bucks, but the density keeps going up. So the competition for food and habitat has just gone through the roof. So if we can come in here, you know, next couple of days and, and really help out with, you know, shooting some of the more mature does, that's gonna like help a lot. Also testing out a couple different broadheads. This one is, I think the Grim Reaper um, white tail special. It is a ginormous broadhead. Um, haven't shot a deer with it, I've heard good things about it. Um, I have actually five different broadheads in my quiver. So hopefully I get to use all of them and, and kind of test them out and kind of see how they perform. So I just had that doe come in, a mature doe by herself. I maybe could have shot her at like 30 yards out here, but I was waiting for her to come in and then she just stood behind these couple of little branches. The, the shooting lanes are not, you know, we haven't really trimmed anything here, so I didn't want to risk it. I maybe could have slipped it in, but shooting these does and these urban areas, you want to make sure that it's, you know, 20 yards broadside perfect as you always should, but it's just a little bit more caution with them being super close and then it is a perfect shot.
There's doe number one. Shot was just like a touch back, but I think we're, we're still in good shape. More doe is coming. Absolutely cranked at that one. She she was done in 20, 30 yards right there. They're all still right up on the hill. Good chance they'll come back. guys the update we're back lee ended up killing four like a madman <laughs> this place is overrun dude it's bad and uh i didn't really get to talk about it because there's so many deer around but that big deer is like lee doesn't know about it he kind of just showed up out of the blue and there were so many bucks around it was it was like hard to film and at one point i think there was within 30 yards probably 15 different bucks which that's, was dude, that's freaking insane it was just nuts but my one doe that I'm, I'm pretty sure is a liver shot the way she was acting um we're gonna still give her a little bit of time all of lee's deer four deer is gonna take a little bit of time and then we'll go collect my one and and start the tracking job on the other i'm assuming one. that you're probably gonna want to sit there again yeah tomorrow night <laughs> for sure <right? laughs> yeah. Yeah. not tomorrow morning though like a magic sled. I was thinking I wasn't gonna Take see you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all next to each other. <laughs> Big girl. They were all pretty decent size. Doll number two. Doll number three. They're like all stacked up right here. Besides the one, but the three of them are just boom, boom, boom. And the so, Oh, yeah, I mean, that's good. All right, well, we're heading to go retrieve my deer now. Um, one is right here, then we might have to look for a decent bit for the first one. This is my experimental broadhead. I don't even know what brand it is. This is the liver shot one. See, that's what I'm wondering. If maybe those didn't open up. Have you ever heard anything about that? About them like maybe? That's one of my fears with that, that style of broadhead. Right. Let's drag it from back because she just ran right up the hill. How are you doing, man? All right, guys, well, we just made it back. Um, <laughs> um, we just made it back. We have a ton of deer piled up here, so we gotta deal with those tonight. Um, we're gonna let my liver hit dough, let it lay overnight, and we're gonna hunt in the morning really close to the spot that we hunted tonight. And then we're gonna go in and uh, hopefully recover her. But we didn't wanna bump it. We didn't wanna do anything. I mean, it's it's 100% a liver hit, um, which really sucks. I'm torn up about it. Um, you know, it's one of those things that just happens every now and again, you know. And uh, looking back at the shot, I believe that her leg was back. And then from her leg being back, I, you know, aimed for middle of the lung, which was a couple inches behind the shoulder, and it was just poor judgment. Um, I should have waited to the, for her shoulder to go forward or just to aim tighter to her crease, but um, still lethal hit. It's just we don't want to push it or anything and give her some time. We're going to get after it in the morning, cover my one doe, and uh, keep chugging along.
Well, we're packing up. It's uh, 9.30. Ping pong spot did not provide this year. All right, well, we just made it back to where um, I was last night. We're gonna rip in here, find this dough, and then go to Waffle House. Oh, wow. Well, we found her. Didn't really went about 100 yards, but we didn't want to push her last night. Get her loaded up, go to Waffle House. Midday now, we have our first load of deer after two hunts. Um, Jay's taking them to a processor. They're gonna take all this meat, they're gonna process it, and then Lee and the guys in maybe a couple weeks are gonna then bring them to a couple uh, churches and shelters that they know of in downtown Atlanta um, to donate the meat for, for people that need it. So. Um, really cool cause. We've been, we're like a giant working team. Like Lee and them have been on job duty. Jay's been on job duty. Tristan's been on job duty. I've been helping. It's just like rocking and rolling. It's a lot of deer, but it's all going to a good cause. And every year it seems like Doe Fest is getting a little bit more efficient. What do we got between us? Between us? Two. At least two one. and two, I think. No. I only killed one. Oh, so far you're yeah. saying? Oh, yeah, we have so three. Far. We have three does. Yeah, three us. does. So we gotta stack them up tonight. Yeah, I think two of pieces <laughs> are very realistic. And I really feel like somebody's gonna get a shot at that buck. We're getting in early enough to where we can get set up. You need to change your your uh, platform platform around. a little bit. Yeah. So I think we're gonna be good. Back up in the same tree we were in last night. Obviously, does are still the main mission, and if does walk by, I will be shooting them. But there's a couple good bucks in here. I mean, last night we saw that one for sure shooter, and there was another good eight point uh, that came in early, and then I saw the big one on top of the hill, so I wasn't so eager to shoot the nice eight point when the big, big one is at like 40 yards. We'll see what happens. I mean, there's like, there's two or three good box shooter box in here hopefully we get some does coming in soon and then those box that came in probably about an hour left of daylight but our wind right now is just swirling like crazy there's this big lake right behind me i really think the wind's kind of hitting the lake weird and then coming off of it so it's like sometimes it's acting like an east wind and it's like a west northwest wind but we're gonna sit tight see what happens maybe the hardest I worked at shooting a doe right there at the end. There was like seven or eight bucks and three or four fawns and then there was two big does that came in and they were just hanging out and I was kind of waiting to see if one of those bigger bucks would show up but decided it was now or never. So we got one I watched her fall just maybe 70 yards up there. Just got down out of the stand. I'm gonna go check and see what this broadhead did. Grab my arrow and then we'll head back get Tristan he shot Tristan said he shot a bunch I think he shot like three so he had a heck of a time um, and we'll come back and get get my dough arrows absolutely covered rod had seemed to do pretty good it fell within sight deployed a couple little bends here and there but not that bad I think this was a wasp I heard something at that little yeah. buck. Big deer? Stud. Really? Smoked. You Wait, shot, you shot it? one? No! <laughs> Smoked. Did you really? Dude. No way. I was about to play a joke on you. Look at that. There's no arrows left. We <laughs> got one left. <laughs> so did you shoot three or four? Was it the big nine that I saw? I don't know, dude. He was huge, though. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm pumped. You watch him fall? No, I'm just kidding, guys. Come but on! <laughs> you, you held that one. I was uh, gonna mess with no, you. No, I, uh, I, shot, I shot three does. Good old doe. 
One thing I'm not excited about, and neither are you, <laughs> is our drag out of here. <laughs> Doe number four for the night. Three, two, one. Well, the boys just got back and they, they shot a couple bucks. He's got some That's mass, too. Oh, oh, heck yeah. That's awesome. I saw him like 300 yards coming in. So, so. this is the one that you saw this yeah. morning? You think, I, no, no, it was a different deer it this was. morning. Yeah, it had ta way taller tines. Oh. <laughs> we got a long night. <laughs> I know. Oh, five point, baby. <laughs> Freaking wow. grandpa. Check this guy out. Dude, he is old. Oh, oh that's that. wild, dude. dude. Old. Wow. I had him on camera last year, and I was like, golly, that's an old deer. And then this year, he just grew as like a, well, I guess he's a six point. Look at the knot on this. Yeah. yeah. Really. Got to get in the group chat. Yes. All right, guys, so it's the end of the night here. We're wrapping up. I got to pack everything and jump on a plane tomorrow morning, and we have a ton of deer to pack up. But you huge things. Archery tournament you're headed to. Yeah, like tomorrow. No. Tomorrow's going to be yeah. logistically a nightmare. <laughs> um, but huge thanks to Lee and the Seek One boys for putting this excellent doe fest on and again it's like all these deer are going to a good cause and a good home and overall management of tons of lee spots where it's like way way too many deer in these spots so i appreciate you coming back for the yeah, man. the second one yeah oh and tristan we'll make it a third <clears throat> thanks to tristan don't add me in here <laughs> make sure you subscribe to these boys this is a good no on a serious group note, of boys i what? really look forward to old chris coming into town i do too all right go 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.